In this very simple example, we demonstrate how a robot can dynamically react to events that happen during the simulation. As we can see, on the via point P1, I have inserted a wake command so that the robot will not move until the signal move forward is true. So, I start the operation. The robot will begin moving and, as expected, it will stop after reaching the first point. By checking the simulation monitor, we can see that the robot is indeed waiting for the signal move forward to become true. In this case, I can manually force the signal from the simulation panel. And the robot will start moving again. So we see now that not only can we validate the motion of a robotic operation as in the case for traditional offline programming, but we can also very easily handle signal exchanges and validate the robot logic. In the next example, I would like to present a more complex situation. A robot must pick a part from a tray where the position of the part can vary on the z-axis. By doing time-based OLP, the simulation engineer would simply validate the process for the last position and the necessary changes for the process to actually work would happen on site. Now, with event-based OLP, we have the ability to test the operation the way it's meant to happen. On the peak position, the robot is constantly checking the state of two sensors on the gripper. This happens in a while structure. As such, while the two sensors do not detect the part, the robot will move 5 mm down on the z-axis until the part is detected. Upon detection, the robot will activate the vacuum and extend the pins on the gripper. In the end, the robot will move to the next point, it will close the clamps, and continue with the rest of the operation. So, right now you may say that for one robot it's very easy to do everything on site. And yes, you can do the complete motion and logic from the teach pendant, but it takes a lot of time. Also, what happens when you don't have just one robot interacting? What happens when you have two robots, or three, or five, each with different types of operations and interactions? In this case, you can send one engineer on site to do all the programming in maybe four weeks, or you can send five people and do the project in less time. But we can all agree that this is very expensive, it keeps resources locked on the same project for a long time, and there is always the case of safety hazards. With Process Simulate and event-based OLP, you can have one engineer to do the programming in a week from home or the office. He can output the programs that will be used on the real robots, and then you can have only one person that tests and validates the robot operations on site. As a last note, we now have the ability to quickly develop a collision-free motion trajectory for multi-robot systems, optimize motion and cycle times, determine and manage interlocks and interferences between robots, handle changes that might come from the design department. For the real robot controller, we can output complete programs with detailed information including motion, process attributes and logic. And finally, save up to 70 or 90% of the time spent in motion planning and interlocking.